And now, ladies and gentlemen, to honor challenger and the champion with their respective national anthems, please rise and remain silent. Here to sing the national anthem for Ireland, please welcome Anya Broly. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing and sing along, if you will, with our very special guest here to sing the national anthem for the United States of America. Please welcome to center ring, Nikki Entreri. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. and gentlemen from the Leah Chorus Center here at Temple University in the City of Champions, home of the Eagles, Phillies, Flyers, and Sixers, Philadelphia, USA. This is the main event of the evening, and it's all brought to you by Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing USA and DeBella Entertainment. Twelve rounds of boxing for the IBF Super Featherweight Championship of the world, sponsored by JD Sports, and streamed exclusively to the United States on DAZN, D-A-Z-N, DAZN, and broadcast to the United Kingdom by Sky Sports, sanctioned by the Pennsylvania State Athletic Commission Executive Director Greg Serb, and the International Boxing Federation Supervisor Carlos Ortiz. The three judges scoring this bout, David Braslow, John Potteray and Sylvain Leblanc, and inside the ring in charge of the action at the bell, your referee, Gary Rosato. And now, the officials are ready, the fighters are in the ring, and they are ready. 
So for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with green and gold, official weight, 129.2 pounds. His professional record, 16 fights. Pardon me, 17 fights, 16 victories, three wins by knockout without a loss, and one draw. From Dublin, Ireland, the undefeated challenger, the IBF Intercontinental Super Featherweight Champion, the Celtic Warrior, Jono. opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner he's wearing red white and blue and officially weighed in at 127.9 pounds his professional record 28 victories including six wins by knockout four defeats with one draw he's the fighting pride of philadelphia pennsylvania usa the reigning defending ibf super featherweight Champion of the world, Kevin, American Idol, Farmer! Seb, no peace. Okay, I gave you specific detailed instructions in the locker room. I'm going to tell you two things. Protect yourselves at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, bang at the bell. God bless. John O'Carroll all fired up. Tevin Farmer calm and focused. Experience tells you one of those ways usually works best. You know, Brian, it's less than a week ago, we saw a first-time title challenger come into the ring with almost irrational confidence. That was Mikel Espierre. Mm. He got worked over in that fight. Will John O'Carroll have a different outcome? Carroll is all fired up. Round one. Junior Lightweight Championship, the IBF belt is on the line. Tevin Farmer in the red, white, and blue. The Celtic Warrior, John O'Carroll there in the white and green. Both are southpaws. Farmer fights as a traditional southpaw. If you want to explain the difference here, Sergio. Yes, they're both left-handers, but there's angles that, an, that, a, that a southpaw has to use. Angles and advantages. Farmer uses those advantages. Now, Carroll, another point, He's more of an aggressive fighter. He doesn't really use those advantages. It's kind of like a southpaw Ricky Hatton. Farmer starting things off by tapping to the body. And so far, Carroll is just keeping his defense tight, moving forward. By the way, Nikki Intraveri knocked it out of the park. That kid with the national anthem. <laughs> I agree. I've rarely I seen agree. a reaction in the ring and in an arena like that. Good job, young man. In a lot of ways, the crowd got fired up from that alone. And here they are. Carroll moving his head fairly nicely on the way in, so showing some skill against a highly skilled champion. I like that. Carroll's first two big shots were to the body. That's going to be a good strategy for him the later this fight goes. Got warned by Gary Rosado, experienced referee. Body shots there by Farmer. Firing out a jab, and Carroll's talking to him. You know, he can't punch him at this point. You know, press conference way in, all right. You're yapping at him. Carroll's been very confident. Well, maybe he feels decent the way he's in there. Hey, you know, I'm not getting blown out. I mean, again, he's felt good the entire time, the entire buildup. Now, Farmer, I should mention, does not have tremendous power. He is in there to box and can overwhelm you with his skill and his consistency, but he is not the type of fighter that will just hit you with one shot and knock you back. And to Sergio's point, John O'Carroll leaves himself open for those body shots. Just a few fights ago, we saw Tevin Farmer put down and put out James Tennyson with a series of savage body shots. Very good head movement there from Carroll, though, and he follows up with a right hook to the body. That was good work. So that's the type of skill he's going to need here tonight, and that was, that was impressive.
Carroll looks like a strong puncher, even though his record doesn't oh, indicate like he has power with only three knockouts and 16 fights, but they're strong. They're, look at the thudding punches. And you can tell they're going to bother Farmer, and he should stay off the ropes. And having a lot more success here in the final minute where throwing those body shots. And Sergio, it's an excellent point. You can see it. It is hard. He's balanced. He's balanced and poised. Even though he doesn't seem poised, he fights poised. No, the leverage is there. Those are vicious body shots there. Very good body shots at the end of that round, punctuating an excellent start by the challenger. Excellent. Now listen. Excellent. Everything on the jab. Touch top, bottom. The middle is going to be wide open for you. We're gonna, yeah, no, with the jab. With the jab. Or top and bottom, we're going to set him up with the straight left. But I want you, don't go there yet. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Okay? He's a sucker for the left uppercut with the center. He's leaning forward with his head down. Okay, as you're stepping back, you're giving me two steps. Give me one step. Okay. One step and get, put the left up the center with the right hook behind it. Exactly. Okay, very simple, easy. Be like, beautiful round, same round. I want, I want to dictate everything with the jab because I want to see the opening. I want to see the opening with it coming. I want you to see it with me. Okay, okay? beautiful work. Beautiful work. Excellent work. Chris, now again, you're doing some scoring of these rounds. Did John O'Carroll win that round? I thought he did enough in the final minute to win the round, but razor close. Uh, I'm very impressed. Again, Carroll coming out and moving his head beautifully, throwing hard body shots, especially at the end of that round. As you heard the Chino Rivas in the corner, really not too upset about things, and giving Tevin Farmer some advice just to be calm. But you see, Farmer is bothered by Carroll in front of him already in round two. Oh, yeah. This, uh, Tevin Farmer's going to have his hands full. The, the longer this fight goes, Carroll's going to get more comfortable with that pressure. You know, he's still yapping at him. Farmer coming in with quick hands. But you see, again, Carroll coming in and his behind, his body is behind those shots. So that's not a feather duster. That's no. a guy who can hit pretty hard. And he's punching him anywhere, anywhere you can land the gloves on him, the chest, the arms, the stomach, anything. That's a smart thing by Carroll. U.S. debut for John O'Carroll, 16-0-1. Good right hook there by Carroll. Farmer better watch out. You better keep that chin tuck. Just very solid defense and very good. Like, if you didn't know, you'd think Carroll was a, a guy who had, I don't know, 200 amateur fights and the real pedigree because he's solid in there right now. Look, when I watched uh, John O'Carroll, I thought he was feisty, confident, scrappy. But right now, I'm let seeing go, a, a go, thudding go. power let puncher go. in him. Even though he doesn't have the power, they are thudding shots. And focused, you know, focused, doing his job well, showing some diversity, and look at that, moving his head on the way in and throwing body shots. And in combination. From the beginning of the round, his first two big shots were to the body. I said, that's a great strategy so early. Tevin Farmer beat Billy Dibb to win the 130-pound world title back in August. A win tonight would make it four wins and three title defenses in seven months. Quite a run, but he is in tough right now. You can tell John O'Carroll's entire strategy in camp was to kill the body of Farmer because everything is hard and thudding downstairs. Those are wicked shots, Sergio. Oh, yeah. Hard shots again. Another right hook. Those are hard. Left hook, right hook to the body. Digging in those shots. Every punches to the body. Five, six, seven punches to the body. That was his strategy. You wonder if Carroll can keep up this intensity, but you have to admit, it is working right now. Oh, yeah, history has proven. When I, when I watch up, his fights, up, he's always so in condition. So, yes, I think he's going to be able to endure. Great. Go punch it. Outstanding start here against the champion, Tevin Farmer, who has been on a tremendous run. That caught him as well. Ten seconds. Let's for the bell. Carroll just moving his head and talking to Gary Rosado, trying to figure out what that was. Every round, okay? Okay. So, okay? That means no go crazy. Intelligent, okay? One, two, go up. They're telling John O'Carroll you need to win every round. Chris Maddox says he won both rounds. He's won both rounds. I thought the second round was even more convincing than the first. Again, and from just a pure boxing perspective, head movement, body shots in combination, focus, Hard shots as well. He's balanced. He's poised. 
and he is relentless on Farmer. Farmer, Sergio Mora, is a tough guy to outbox. He's outboxing him. He's outbanging him to the body, that's for sure. He's discouraging him with pressure and body shots right now. Carroll is. Got caught there. Farmer able to catch him on the way in. Unable to avoid those shots, but he slips, he slips the jab very well on the Good way job. in. When I was studying Carroll, I was, the first thing I thought is don't let this guy dictate the pace because if he get gets in there, get gets confident, go starts banging back. away to the body, Break. it's going to be a long That's night for fine. Tevin Farmer. Comes off a disappointing draw, still gets the title shot, and he is making the most of it. Look at oh, how he's I'm digging sure away. Is. Everything is to the body. Take a look at the power punches here. Look, through two rounds, John O'Carroll 25 to 11. Get that arm out. Break, 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 break. Not what Tevin Farmer expected for his homecoming. Thought this was some trash talking guy that was beneath him, lower than his level. The way he's been peaking, he can outbox anyone in the division. He's looking for Javante Davis, but now John O'Carroll is making his presence known. Good counter shot by Farmer. Big counter shot by Farmer right there. It's like a left hook, 45 degree punch. Now with the uppercut. Is he taking the advice from Chino Rivas now? Oh, and yeah. The, now Farmer's landing some really good shots. Good right hook by Farmer. Has Carroll now testing him for the first time. Has him in the corner, and now he's muscling up. Caught him again, that time with a left hand. Farmer is being tested, and he's answering. Break, Full minute break, left. Sergio, th this is the price you pay if you go inside like that, jo like Jono Carroll is. Oh, yeah. Back. He's getting hit with some good uppercuts, left hooks, but that's what he needs Watch to do. Show, Carroll needs to stay in there and Watch keep the landing show. at that body. The, the longer this fight goes, the more he invested in it. Carroll looks like he's cut right under the right eyebrow. We'll have to take a closer look at that. Yes, I see is. a little red, see some blood. Goes to work, body shots again landing by Carroll. And Carroll is not Get giving up on that body. Wonder if Carroll is slightly gassed here. And Farmer able to answer. Great uppercut by Farmer right there. His shots are not quite as sharp. He might need a breather. Farmer jumps in, but he gets caught. Can't be sloppy. We could have a war here, fellas. Bro, I don't want so many. I don't want so many punches without control. Two, three combination with it, and start to throw uppercut to the head. You're close to him. No straight punches. No hook. Uppercut to the head. Okay. And no without control. Two punches. Close. Three punches. Close. Okay. I don't want six, eight punches. This is why, sir. Okay. Yes, so what you do? Everything is composed. Everything is at your pace. You're di you're di you dictating. He says throwing punches at the death permit, that's okay. Okay? And that's what we want because he's exposing himself. Outstanding. That's what we spoke about. Game plan to perfection. Stay in the inside. Okay? Bottom in. But you saw how beautiful. And look at this right hook in slow motion. Vaseline comes flying out of Carroll's face. Left hook, right hook right there. Picture perfect. Chino Rivas saying that his man. Tevin Farmer has a high IQ, and the IQ shows in the ring that fights that are close early get opened up quickly. Let's see. This is a true test where John O'Carroll, the challenger, has boxed beautifully in the early rounds. Now can Farmer make that adjustment? Chris Maddox, I'll go back to you on the round. You're trying to score these Watch rounds. It seemed like Farmer head. was able to come back a bit in that round three. Yeah, I thought that was a clear win in round three for Tevin Farmer. Kind of shades of the last fight we saw, Brian, where Rose Valente came out, guns blazing, faded after that second. Seeing John O'Carroll fade a little bit since that second round flurry. Yeah, I, I wonder if he can possibly keep that level of intensity. Now, his corner telling him that, hey, look, don't try to throw so many punches. Save it. He slips that, is able to answer back, but Farmer is getting in his grill right like now, in his beard. This is a good scrap, and you know what? Both of them aren't using their lefty advantages. This is a brawl and a good scrap. 
And you can see Carroll able to get out of harm's way. Look, that, that ability to move your head is everything, Sergio. Oh, yeah. I made a career doing that. You got to move your head, but also you got you to move your feet with it. You can't just, your upper body can't go without your feet. You have to be in unison. Farmer able to pick him off there with the jab. Now tries to get his distance punch out, punch out. and keep him at the end of that jab. But it's difficult. Again, Carroll has been very strong so far in this fight. Carroll landed a really good uppercut to the stomach right now. I think it caught Farmer's attention. Good body shot to the gut. Well, early on, as that's another hard body shot. I mean, no matter what type of condition you're in, those are withering body shots. Oh, they'll take it out of you, yeah, definitely. Those are, look, even when you block them, they're still effective punches. Your own elbow digs into your rib. Harold doing good work here in the middle of round four. Able to touch, able to land with body shots. Still cut, however. I haven't heard, I believe that has to be from a punch, haven't heard anything otherwise. Doesn't seem to be much of a factor at the moment. Although that certainly could get worse. Good body shot by Farmer and Carroll answers. Excellent body shot by Farmer. I don't think that, that cut's going to be too much of a problem. Yeah. Both fighters are burying body shots. Watch your shoulder, Travis. Well, Carroll has been true to his nickname, Celtic Warrior. He has really brought it against the guy who's peaking. Again, we're not just saying it's Evan Farmer's pound for pound and all that, but it's a guy who's gotten better and better, and with his boxing ability, he can box against anybody. Look, this is the kind of fight that John O'Carroll wants to be in right now. It's his style. It's just Evan Farmer is doing a little bit better than him these last couple of rounds. Farmer goes to work to the body. Carroll looking to answer to punctuate the round. Excellent work. Excellent work. Now listen. When we're in the inside, I want that, that, that left double. Bottom and bring it up in the hook style. When you bring the left up in the hook style, drop your back feet. Give me the right hook behind it. I want that little separation so we don't smuggle that shot. And we got more power off that shot, okay? Beautiful work. Outstanding. Give me the water, guys. Water. Punch your stomach. When you close, shoulder, arms, uppercut to the head. Okay? Breathe. Water. Jeff, make him miss. Round five here, IBF Junior Lightweight Championship. Tevin Farmer and a very game and effective John O'Carroll from Dublin, Ireland. Gary Rosado telling us between rounds, Chris Maddox, that that was a clash of heads that caused that. Accidental headbutt that caused the cut over the right eye of John O'Carroll. So if it does end the fight, for some reason, that cut in particular ends the fight, it'll go to the scorecards, and we're already past four. Sergio, as you mentioned, I, I don't see that being a, a terribly difficult cut at this moment. No, it's not, a bad, it's not a bad cut, but I would like to see Farmer stay on his toes. He started this round bouncing on his toes, moving around, because earlier in the last rounds, Farmer was fighting Carroll's fight. I don't know if it's by choice or necessity. Both men are landing, and they're landing power shots. Carroll, though, has picked it back up. He started to fade just a bit in the third round, but now he is back and firing hard. He does look like the stronger man. Break, break. And that's his fight in the inside. Even though Farmer is holding his own with some vicious body shots of his own, I just think that's not his fight. He needs to stay on his toes, fight behind the jab. Catch Carroll coming in. Bring him up, Trev. Bring him up. Carroll with a good work rate. And lands the left hand after throwing the body shot with the right. This is an excellent fight, guys. The crowd is buzzing. They love it. The champ being tested, not just to keep busy fight. This is real. Off his head. Don't put his head down, Joe. And you have to wonder, John O'Carroll comes in with virtually no resume. Down. Tevin Farmer said he picked him because of some trash talk on Twitter. Did Tevin Farmer underestimate John O'Carroll? Another lesson learned. Leave that stuff alone. <laughs> don't, don't answer. Mouthpiece comes flying out out of John Carroll's mouth. Time, time, over there, over he gets a break. Gary Rosado at the first break of the action. We'll get it back in there, and we see there is more blood flying now. Mouthpiece here. So even though Carroll 
is having success, Farmer is getting his. Farmer digs in again. So if the mouthpiece comes out, what does that tell you, Sergio? That means that those body shots are taking their effect. Carroll is opening his mouth. Another hard shot by Farmer. Measures him now with the jab. It's those body shots that set up that right hook oh, right there. I would love to see Farmer stick to the body. Real ebb and flow here. As Carroll still able to throw his body shots, but Tevin Farmer is marching forward and making this his fight, slowly. Body shot right there by Farmer, digging in. And a lot less oomph out of John O'Carroll. Good body work there, but another body. You see, Sergio, you're right. It's one shot from Farmer, but that one body shot is with him. got five seconds. That is a DAZN exclusive, Bellator, April 27th, back here in Philadelphia. And Tevin Farmer and John O'Carroll. Here we have Carroll landing two small shots. Nice left hand there. They weren't as effective as Farmer's big punch here. Boom, right on the chin. Those are the effective punches. And we opened up with John O'Carroll, we believe, and there's a the mouthpiece flying out from the uppercut, kind of a hook uppercut hybrid. Chris Maddox, I mentioned the first two rounds. You, you gave it, I think, it's correct. Gave to John O'Carroll. How about the last two? Yeah, last two I've given to Tevin Farmer. I've given the last three to Tevin Farmer. But these last two rounds, very, very close. Of the five rounds you've had so far, three of them I thought have been kind of tossers. Sharp work. You know, and I saw it. There's the tassels that flipped up into the air are from the side of his trunks. I thought that was, I thought his wraps were coming loose. I've never seen tassels on trunks. Yeah, you've got to get rid of those, don't you? Good shot there. Push his head down. Don't push in the front. No, stop. That was in the back. That was in the back. That was in the back. That cut is fairly deep, you see, on the right eye of John O'Carroll. But not bleeding, they're doing a good job in the corner of stemming that flow. And you can see the tassels at one point when Farmer was flipping his jab out, that those tassels came up in the air. You can't have that. It operates as a blinder almost. It's like having another jab, another good uppercut. That is landing for Farmer. Push the head down. Those are hard shots Let's being landed by Get Farmer. Arm uppercut, arm arm hooks, body hey, shots. Get that arm out. Now here's the real test. All the trash talk, all that energy. Bring him up. Does John O'Carroll have the energy to actually bring it into the boxing match? He seems to try to summon it right now. Carroll showed that he's feisty. He's confident, he's scrappy, and he's always in good shape. A little low blow there by Farmer. But yes, I think he can go into the later rounds with condition, yes. This is a bigger fight, though, Sergio. Does that drain a little bit from you, going through all the histrionics? Well, Carroll told us that he loves the big stage. This is what he lives for. He wants this. So it doesn't get bigger than a world title fight. So this is it. You can want it, though, Sergio. What about living through it? We're going to find out right now. Because a lot of guys get into big fights, and they say afterwards, hey, you know what? I was drained. The energy was different. And Farmer is now picking his shots. Tevin Farmer stayed composed all week and looking to stay composed here. Nice jab, beautiful shot. That's what Tevin Farmer does in the answers, and now he's the one slipping and hitting. Oh, Farmer's having fun now, pop shotting, everything landing now. Don't push him out, don't push him out. Bring him up, Trev, bring him up. A lot of those bring shots have been low. Gary Rosado properly warning him. Final seconds of round six. Farmer having perhaps his best round. Ten seconds, ten seconds, let's bring it back. And that boxing IQ is being displayed. Excellent round by Tevin Farmer there. Outstanding. Open. Dame agua. Everything at your pace. Everything at your pace. Outstanding. 
Take it off. Huh? Take that off. Take this off. Take, take this towel. No. Now, hold up. Now, one thing I'm... Now, listen. One thing we're doing that I'm not liking, we're getting slow with the jab. Okay. I'll tell you what. Can we throw the Listen. Can you throw it? doesn't work. So, you're going forward, but we, we go, you go without the jab, just straight away. Okay? And when you're slipping, you don't punch it. Yeah, okay. So, when it punch, when you close, this combination, pam, 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 remember? So, but try to box now a little bit, okay? Jump on it! Jump on it! Yes, I go. Albert Arepetian there in the corner with good advice where you could see John O'Carroll Sergio got out of rhythm in that round and started eating counter shots. He was eating everything that Farmer was throwing at him. And earlier, he's, Carroll said he was going to take Farmer's soul. Right now, Farmer looks like he wants to take Carroll's soul. Well, he also did say, too, in the same breath, I'm going to see what he's made of. I, we're seeing what Tevin Farmer's made of. He's made of a lot. He's a hard-earned experience. Tough start to his professional career, 2-2-1. Two, two, and one. Again, had a torn bicep during a fight, finished that fight, later was shot in the hand, lost a controversial decision to a guy on synthetic testosterone, and yet now hasn't lost in seven years. Now, yeah, look, he's built himself up until this point the hard way. Everything Tevin Farmer has done, he's had to earn. And you can see all of that resolve, all that character built up and shown now in the ring where he has a spirited attack from John O'Carroll and he has been able to systematically repel it. Not out of the woods yet. It's round seven scheduled for 12. Carroll proving he could take a punch. He took a vicious right hook by Former. Carroll is hunting front, and throwing hard hooks. Snaps out the jab as well. Not moving his head the same way. Now it becomes evident when he does move his head because in the early rounds, Chris, he was all over. Yeah, great point. You heard his corner say you're still going in, but you're not putting anything behind it. So you're seeing John O'Carroll kind of follow Tevin Farmer around, but the punch output isn't the same. And following him right and not staying back and waiting for an opportunity. And then pouncing those first two rounds. He really pounced and made it count, but he waited Give and then punched. Punch. Well, while speed and angles discourage a fighter. If, front, you, if you're front. not going to stay in front of a fighter, you're going to use the southpaw angles, and you're going to bank to the body like Farmer's doing. It's just discouraging. And Chris Mannix, you made an excellent point earlier when I asked you about the rounds. You also have to figure out how many rounds are close. How many rounds could a judge reasonably have either way? That way you're not outraged at the end. The About half of them, I would the say, have been close. But at this point, it's effective punching. John O'Carroll might have a higher output, but the effective punching for Tevin Farmer has been just right there. Excellent point. And yet a judge does score it round by round. He hands it in, and that's it. That's how it works. And the early rounds went to Carroll. Can he take a round here and there? Uh, Carroll's corner, by the way, does not think so. I think Farmer just hurt Carroll to the body. He caught him to the left side of the body with a left hand. Watch the elbows. Watch the elbows. Carroll has never lost, obviously never been stopped. Oh, yeah, he's wincing. Carroll's wincing every time ten, Farmer. Ten I don't know if Farmer knows that he's hurt, hell. but. We hear LZ Granderson is talking to Tevin Farmer's family. What are we hearing, LZ? Thanks a lot, BK. You know, it's, it truly is the true story that every parent wants their child to turn out to be better than what they were. Well, in this case, for Kevin Farmer, sitting here watching his fun, Tevin Farmer box is exactly that. He played football, Kevin did growing up. Tevin was a better football player. Tevin is a better boxer. Kevin tried to box. Tevin is just a better, better boxer than he is. And his father's sitting there and he said, you know what? I'm so proud of him because everything I did, he did, except he's just naturally better. He did all the work. He did put in all the effort. He didn't ride my coattails. I'm riding his. It's a beautiful father and son story. And if you look at the family as they're watching their son in this big night in their hometown, you can see nothing but smiles and pride on their faces. Back to you guys. LZ, thank you so much. That's a valid point. Farmer started boxing at 19. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's very late. That's, you know, Deontay Wilder, you give him a pass for, you know, how slowly he was brought around in the heavyweight division because he started boxing at 19. And that's what Tevin Farmer did in his life. It's amazing, given his skill set. And it's even more difficult to rise around that weight class. Deontay Wilder was able to get away with it because he has that huge knockout power. Tevin Farmer has had to do with just pure skill. 
You know, he has all that skill, and he said, look, I was moving like this before I ever saw any tapes of the fighters they compare me to, like Pernell Whitaker. He said, I didn't know I'd move like those guys. I don't think he moves exactly like Sweet Pea, but occasionally you just see some beautiful lefty work like that. Round eight, championship 12 rounds, of course. John O'Carroll has brought it here in Philadelphia on St. Patrick's Day weekend. Farmer has responded beautifully. But he's in a fight. Yeah, he is. Farmer told us that he knew for a fact that Carroll wasn't a tough guy. I think it disagrees now. Well, the things that they said about each other, I think, were both wrong. Right? Yeah, there you go. There's my point, Right, he's nothing. He's not this. He's not that. No, it's, it's not true. But you're right, Carroll was unproven coming in. He's proving quite a bit here tonight. Let's see if he can finish off. Come up front. Up behind his head. Ball spin him, Joe. Off his head. Off his head. Off the back of his head. Punch in the back of his head, Joe. Watch your heads. Watch your heads. Yes. yes. Both fighters, understandably, exhausted at this point. Fighting on, but the pace is slower. The punch is a little less crisp. Punch but it, but it's out, still really nice work by both fighters. Countering, rolling with shots, turning their, their cheek whenever whenever the land the punch lands, they turn their cheek. It's just really, Joe, really nice on, artistic inside fighting. Solid professional work. The work rate is high. Both fighters trying to do damage at close range. And Sergio, there's a lot more pressure at close range. Oh, yeah. See, that's all I was talking about. See, right there, Tuck Farmer didn't roll with that punch, and Carroll was able to land a solid shot. And here comes Farmer. Chris Maddox, how do you score this round? This is difficult. <laughs> Good luck. Watch your I'm going to wait for the final 18 seconds. Yeah. Nice jab by Farmer. Good work. But look, there's decent work by both. Those shots ten missed. Seconds, ten seconds. Break. That round was break. like a violent back. ballet. It's for the bell. Seemed like both men were good with the bell ringing there. It Little start just come out. Go a little step back. So I want to stay so close to him. Okay? Go like he was doing the last round before. Okay? Stay. Make him miss. Step back. Next step back. Punch after. Low. Okay? Chest. Chest. Body. And when it blows up, it goes to the head. And by far, he's not in your level. There's, there's levels to the shit. Got the other one. Outstanding work. Don't get him that jab. And here's what I mean by violent ba ballet because one one fighter lands, the other one lands, one rolls, one is just back and forth synchron synchronized punishment. And it's a close fight. How do you have it, Chris? Got it even through eight rounds, four rounds apiece. But again, four of these rounds on my card have been razor thin, could go either way. Again, we're in Tevin Farmer's hometown. That should not matter in the slightest. You know, look, the crowd can affect you somewhat, certainly, but you should be able to judge the fight even when you're looking at a guy in his hometown. So I'm not making excuses, it just is what it is. And we saw it with the Gabe Rosado fight earlier against Maciek Selecki. See, this is Farmer's fight, on his toes, touching him, fighting behind the jab. It seemed like early in the fight, he was fighting Carroll's fight too much, trying to be tough, trying to out-tough the tough guy. You're a boxer, move on your toes, get behind the jab. Yeah, that is a change in tactics. And that is definitely to the advantage of Farmer. Now Pano gets him on the ropes. Carroll out throwing hard body shots. Farmer able to answer with his own body shot. He, does, he throws that one wicked body shot out that can keep a man honest. These are just devastating body shots by Carroll on this round. Carroll able to touch him to the head as well. Carroll now slightly rejuvenated. Just at the moment you think Farmer can take over, 
O'Carroll does not allow it to happen. The question is, is John O'Carroll going to get into that 10th, 11th, 12th round? Does he find that second wind and get back to the output we saw in the first few rounds? And clearly win rounds, too. That is going to be difficult. Right here, though, he's... Now, now we're halfway through, Sergio. He seems to have turned it around within this ninth round. Farmer started on his toes like he should have, fighting behind the jab. But once those, once his back hit the ropes right, and felt those body shots, then it swayed Carroll's way. Yeah, as you pointed out, when Farmer is up on his toes, behind the jab, moving, slipping, he's hard to even find. As he stands there flat-footed now, Carroll can relax a little bit. He's able to move in, move his head, and land a body shot just like that. Great body shot there by Carroll. See the muscle memory on John O'Carroll, still able to slip. Good body shots. Two shots there from Farmer, but just instinctively moves his head on the way in. On both sides, good body shots. It, that was, we knew that, the, well, that's Carroll's game plan, he, to dig the body. From the beginning, he's been digging the body. Farmer had to repay that. He needs to go back down there himself. Well, Carroll is definitely well-schooled. Comes in with very solid fundamentals, facing a world champion and making an excellent run of it here. Does he have the resolve to be that warrior he says he is and finish that's strong that's here that's as we that's get that's closer that's to the championship rounds? Gerald, look at him. Keeps that's digging that's away at that body. Look, Farmer needs to be careful not to lay up on the ropes like that. He started boxing really nicely, but then Carroll caught him against the ropes. Most of these punches in fast motion, we don't know what's really landing. The judges are just seeing Carroll punching away and Farmer's back against the ropes. Round 10, Tevin Farmer, John O'Carroll. Chris, how close do you have it now? Got an 86-85, John O'Carroll. Another close round in that last round. You, thought, you thought Carroll won that last round? He won that last round. Interesting, Sergio. Do you yes. agree with that? Or yes, I do. Because that's interesting given the start for Tevin Farmer in that round. But he, during the middle, and, and he didn't finish it. Mm. It's like it's like he resorted to fighting Carroll's fight. He couldn't continue doing it for three, three minutes boxing. And Carroll off to an excellent start here. Round 10, scheduled for 12. Again, world championship fight. Junior lightweight division, the IBF belt at the very least is on the line. And just good crisp action. We see it week after week. And this though, I tell you, it's, I'm gonna admit it, surprising to me, Sergio. Surprising to me that Carroll is that fundamentally sound and able to box with Tevin Farmer the way he is. Watching videos on him, I thought he was more of a brawler, but he moves his head in sly ways. He positions himself well. And just the strategy of just from the round one to round 10, digging away at the body. He hasn't went away from that strategy. When I asked him, how are you going to beat a guy that boxes like that? He said, who says I'm going to box? <laughs> yeah. He's not going to fight. But he has boxed. That's the thing. He's, he's got underrated skill. He doesn't, he doesn't even talk that up. He talks about his toughness, but he's got a lot of skill. Break, break. Crowd has been loud here at Temple. They lay a chorus center in Philadelphia. The buzz started with the national anthem, and it has continued because of the nonstop outstanding work by both of these fighters. Absolutely. John O'Carroll told us he thrives on the big stage, and right now he's shining. He's bleeding, he's hurt, but he's coming forward, landing big shots. And he's forced Tevin Farmer to fight his kind of fight. Now, Tevin's been effective, landing good punches, but this is a John O'Carroll style of fight. And you're right, Sergio, that is a little more blood now coming out near Carroll's eye, but again, he is barely hampered by it, seems to enjoy it. At a certain point, it's bleeding in your eye, and you don't. But again, he is not bothered by it. He's not, he's not pawing at it. He's not looking to his corner. He's not looking for excuses. Because he's confident. He's confident in the work that he's putting in. Kevin Farmer looking for an eventual big fight, a big payday with Trevante Davis, who comes off a knockout win. He needs to keep winning to make that happen. 
See, when you're bleeding, Brian, if you're getting pummeled, then that's what discourages you. But if you're coming forward and landing punches, blood doesn't affect you. They're gonna have to take a close look at that. Try to seal that up. No, no. Please, when you close, I don't want to throw you like all the time punches. Take a brief, two punches, explosive, okay? Quality punches, okay? Take brief, move, move your head. While you're moving now, it's good. Make him miss, moving your hood, your head. And please, his back hand with the step in after slip. We make him miss this jab a lot. So make slip and jab his back hand to the head, straight, okay? Okay. Here we see Farmer land some good shots in the inside. The effective shots, left hook, right uppercut, right on the beard there. Blood flying, just effective, good shots by Tevin Farmer. Jono, sleep, backhand, more backhand. 11th round, Tevin Farmer with the word there for someone ringside. You see the, the tape is coming off on John O'Carroll's glove. Uh, I, Don't you have tape? I, I just I think that's outstanding advice in Carroll's corner if he's able to listen to it that hey, quality punches, you know, just throw two good sharp punches, and that's what he was doing earlier when he was so effective, Sergio. Wait, yes, wait, he was, wait, wait, and that's what wait. Tevin Farmer's been doing. He's looking for the right shots. Carroll might be out working him a little bit, especially when Farmer's against the ropes. But through. the effective, good clean shots, the slow motion shots that we go on replay, yeah. those are the effective yeah. ones. Let's go. This one here. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think Carroll is looking tape. for a break here. People are booing, and they've got three people working on the tape. All but right. it's not like Carroll right. is like, hey, give me, buy me some time. He wants to get back out Go there, too. Here. And we're Let's ready go. to go, 11th round. Farmer opens up with that left hand. And again. Carroll able to slip so many opening punches and so many jabs in the early rounds, a little less able to do it now. He's slowing down. He's getting hit with some big shots by Farmer now. Wow, John O'Carroll has thrown over a thousand punches already. And he's outlanded Tevin Farmer. That's wider than I would have figured. How about you, Sergio? It's a close fight, that's for sure, but a thousand punches, no. I wouldn't have estimated that. And 11 rounds. Excuse me, 10, right, we're at 11 now, but that's through 10. See, this is where Carroll is effective. Farmer should get off the ropes. This is where he lands the biggest, heaviest, effective punches. And when once Farmer stops moving. And Sergio, we're seeing as well that same pattern where early in the round, Farmer is up, dominating, picking his shots, boxing up on his toes, and then it becomes this fight. Carroll's digging into those shots. Even though Farmer's blocking them, they're still effective punches. Tevin Farmer said, hey, they used to bring me in and I was supposed to lose. And then I just kept winning. John O'Carroll is bringing that same spirit here. Brought in to lose in the guy's hometown, losing in front of the champ, and setting up a big money fight. And instead, he's come in here and made a very good effort. And Brian, don't underestimate the impact on the judges that the volume punching of John O'Carroll has. Those punch that numbers show a huge discrepancy in number of punches thrown. Break, Chris, are break, you surprised by the discrepancy? No, because that was John O'Carroll's game plan, and that's been his M.O. throughout his career. But even in the count, did you think that count was that wide? Hard shot by Carroll. Thought it was close. Okay. I'll tell you what, Tevin Farmer could take a punch. That was a big punch by Carroll. He drove him back, but Farmer able to answer and opens up the blood break, again. Break. That's a head. deep punch. Now, it's not bleeding that badly, but that is deep, and it's in a bad spot. I think those body shots finally took a toll. Farmer breathing with his mouth open, walking forward, discouraged look on his face. And yet, even as you say that, Sergio, he is able to land two hard shots on the way in. Oh, he's a champion, of gets... course. Look. Oh, hard shot by Farmer. And now Carroll actually looks hurt. Hit again. Now his hands come down. Farmer has his man hurt. Can he finish him off? Carroll tries to stay on his feet. With another hard shot, final 10 seconds. Can Carroll hold on? Big round for the champion in Philadelphia. Wow.
Hey, quick, come on. Give me a water. Give me a water. Now, get the towel, get the towel, get the towel off. No, worry about that. I don't need that right now. Listen. Look at me, my son. Hand, Drake, okay? Just lay back, hand. I don't want you to stay in front of him and punch him. You get in trouble. I'm still gonna fight. Look at this beautiful shot here. Picture perfect right hook. Blood comes flying out of Carroll's mouth. Big round by Tevin Farmer. That is the first time that Carroll was truly hurt. Farmer rocked Carroll in that instance. And this is what we expected when I told Mannix over here that Carroll's gonna give Farmer opportunities to land heavy punches. We're doing last names now? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mannix. 12th and final round, and that was the best round of the night for Tevin Farmer. Chris Mannix, how do you have it scored? I've got Let's Tevin go. Farmer leaving by around 105, 104, heading into the 12th. And again, that's unofficial. We're doing our best to let you know what's happening during the fight. And again, looking at the rounds that are close, that a judge again could have it either way. That last round, no, obviously convincing, no question, on the chain. And here's the thing, Brian, I've been in situations like this where I feel I'm landing the better shots, but are the judges, do they like volume of Carroll or do you like the precision of Farmer? Well, Farmer can make that point move very soon. And you see, in round 11, 36 to 10 on the power punches landed for Tevin Farmer. Those were hard shots. He seemed like he was about to stop him, but looked like Carroll might have gone down. He never did. You ask me, precision wins. So you think judges will reward that for Farmer? That's I think saying. I think they're looking at Farmer. I'll be. That last round was a big round. Farmer's having another good round here, even though Carroll's showing the spirited effort. Final two minutes of this fight. Let's just watch and enjoy a little bit. As it slows up, half of that round now gone. Energy on the wane. Carroll, I feel, will need something. If it's that close, Chris Mannix has it one round for Farmer. We're in Philadelphia, the crowd cheers wildly. Hard shot by Farmer. He's the one that needs to dig down and have a bigger minute. Well, you asked me earlier, BK, if Carroll was it, gonna be able to last the distance with that much, that much energy being expended early, but I think it was the body shots that took it out of Carroll. Farmer was laying some massive, Great body work early and middle in the fight. Strafing shots by Farmer. He looks to pot shot his way in. He was certainly tested in this fight by a game opponent who was effective and had an excellent plan and had supreme confidence. But Farmer seems to have answered the call, even against a man who could be throwing 1,200 punches in this fight. Carroll is gassed now. He's only got 20-some seconds. DK, let me ask you, is a draw possible here? Look, it's always possible. People will boo, but it's 12 rounds. If it goes 6-6, six, six, it's a draw. Chris? <laughs> Let's go, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Stop, stop, stop. Get back, get back. Let's bring a bell. Final seconds, and the champion answers the call against a tremendous challenge from Dublin. Everyone up on their feet, standing ovation for these two warriors. That was an excellent fight. I mean, beyond everything else, it was just excellent action at a high level of skill. Inside fighting, outside fighting, it was a war of attrition. Both men passed the test. Hey, you brought it up. The odds on a draw, 20 to 1. Uh-oh, but it's possible to happen. I, I, I have the feeling that more rounds will go to Tevin Farmer here. You get that feeling? I think it depends on what the judges actually value, as Sergio said. I scored the fight 115-113 for Tevin Farmer, but there were a lot of swing rounds, Brian. Right, so 7-5. So you swing one round, it's a draw. And you could have, right? You said you could have swung several of those rounds. I think you could have swung at least four of those okay. rounds. Woo! Well, look, I... Not, I take him a lot more seriously now. He's smiling, he's 
smugging, but you know what? He can bring it, and he certainly brought it early in this fight. Well, Carroll said he was going to take Farmer's soul, but I think they took a little bit of each other's soul in this fight. It was a back and forth, great action. Both of them showed resilience, strength, power. Mouthy comes flying out of there. Just an entertaining, great, great fight. Back and forth, the smart punching with Farmer looking for the right shots to the body. Carroll fighting him off. And it was in the 11th round where Farmer had the biggest rounds of the night. Rocking John O'Carroll, nearly knocking him down. Possibly close to a knockout, but a knockout did not come. Tevin Farmer told us, hey look, I have a mindset to go 12. We work at it every day. That's how he stays so consistent throughout the fight. I keep mentioning Farmer and Katie Taylor in the same breath because they're so consistent in their intensity. And Tevin Farmer needed every bit of that tonight. Tevin Farmer told us he was going to dictate the pace. That didn't happen. That he wasn't going to yep. take no punishment. That didn't happen. That happened because of Carroll. Carroll made him fight his fight. Outstanding. Let's get the decision. Here is Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards after 12 rounds of non-stop action. John Pottery scores at 117 to 110. David Breslow and Sylvain LeBlanc both have it 117 to 111. All three scorecards go to the winner by unanimous decision. And still the IBF Super Featherweight Champion of the World. Philadelphia's own Tevin Palmer. Well, that's wider than we had it. Uh, I'm not surprised, Sergio. What about you? No, we're in Philadelphia, and where's Tevin Farmer from? And the other point that we try to make on all these cards is that while Chris Mannix was scoring it for us, and he had it 7-5, if he swings two or three rounds the other way, just happens to give them slightly over to Tevin Farmer, well, you have that result. So I'm not saying it's inept or corrupt. It's no, possible. No. I just disagree. I disagree with the general finality of that. I disagree with 117-110, but I do agree that Farmer won the fight. I just think Carroll deserved more than what yep. he got. Yep. Carroll really brought it. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. Again, the work rate from Carroll was out of this world. 1,227 punches thrown, and he outlanded Tevin Farmer. Hmm. So the accuracy for Farmer, Carroll with the higher work rate. And again, Carroll was not feather dusting. Carroll was throwing hard shots, landing power shots. Chris Mannix is in the ring with the champ. Tevin, congratulations. You get the win, your third title defense in a very tough fight. What would you think about your performance? Uh, it was a good performance, you know. I think even when I'm at my best, I'm gonna say it's still uh, need, I need to be I need to improve. So you know I always think I need to be able, uh, I need to improve. But it was a great fight. Um, he talked a lot. He came. He showed up, man. I got number respect for him, and that's what it is. John O'Carroll has a very specific style. He likes to make it a, a fight on the inside. He likes to throw a lot of punches. It seemed like you were willing to fight his type of fight. Were you? Yeah. You know. You see, I outboxed him when I wanted to. I won the inside when I wanted to, and I could have stayed on the outside the whole night, but then it would have been too easy, you know. I know nobody like getting hit, but, you know, I wanted to go and see what he was hitting for. I know we had a lot of words um, leading up to this camp, but, you know, I, I, had, I had to see where his heart was at. You seemed to show some urgency in that 11th round. You got him hurt. You very nearly were able to put him out of there. Did you feel like the fight was close as you entered those final rounds? Absolutely not. The fight wasn't close, you know. That's just what world champions do. World champion. We, um, we want to finish the fight style, you know, and that's what I'm learning more and more being though I started boxing league. Did you worry at all during this fight? He was throwing a lot of punches. Not all of them were landing and not as effective as yours, but did you worry that that might influence the judges? No, the judges are going to think what they want. I'm a fighter. I'm going to go and fight. If the judges see something, that's what they see. I can't control the judges, so why worry? I was always told, you, if you can't control it, don't worry about it. So you make that third title defense, and you're still out there looking for that big signature fight. Everybody talks about you against Gervonta Davis. Do you believe you can get Gervonta Davis into the ring? Honestly, I, I don't really care. You know, I handed Ben tonight, and we go back. We, we go back to the um, behind the scenes. We do real business. You know, we, everybody know what Gervonta Davis got offered. What does Tevin Form being offered? You know, it takes two to tangle, and I feel like I feel like me and him, we build this fight up from 2014 to now. So I think we both 
should get um, fair money, life-changing money. And to answer your question, yes, I do want Jerron Davis if, if, the, if the business is right. But outside of him, you know, N2L is well, never too late, you know. I just dropped the, a clothing line with Box for All, never too late. Go get them shirts on um, boxforall.com slash never too late. And the after party at Ridge Capital tonight, y'all. Congratulations, Devin. Guys.